Conway restaurant suddenly closes its doors, but now former employees say they weren't given any notice that they would soon be out of a job. Our Emily Sharoff is live at Eugenia's Steak and Seafood in Conway to tell us how now former employees are feeling today. So Emily, this understandably had to be tough news for all of those employees to swallow. Rachel, the two former employees I spoke with tell me they're stressed and upset. They say two days later, they still don't know why Eugenia's is closing its doors for good. Just two hours after the restaurant closed on New Year's Eve, employees of Eugenia's Steak and Seafood in Conway say they got the text from a supervisor saying the business would not reopen. We just lost our job with no notice, like nothing, like no nothing. We still don't even know why it's closed down. Like we, there's no communication with them at all. Mia Perkins worked in the kitchen at Eugenia's and she isn't alone in her confusion and anger. One of her former coworkers who didn't want to be on camera says serving and bartending is her passion. She says serving is not just what she loves to do, but also the only way she can afford to live in her area. Serving or bartending is the only way you can stay above your head because the, the price of everything, the cost of living is extremely high. So that is my livelihood and it's cut off. Unfortunately, it's cut off. I have a two year old. She doesn't know anything. I still have to find a job. She also says the minimum wage in South Carolina wouldn't be enough to sustain her and her child, even if she worked full time. But the timing of losing her job couldn't be worse. I'm going to um, hit some places up downtown, maybe see if I can try my luck there because I know the beach. Um, most of those places that I've called that I know I could probably get a job. They already have their people that are set to carry them through the winter, so it's just like playing it by ear, honestly. Perkins is already searching for a new job, but the clock is ticking. She put it plainly. Because bills don't, they, not, they don't stop, so I have to find something so I can pay my bills. So it's just looking for a job, and that's about it. Both Perkins and her co-workers say they are avidly searching for jobs, but right now it's just one foot in front of the other until they can find one. I've reached out to Eugenia's management to learn more about the closure, but I haven't heard back. Live in Conway, Emily Shiroff, WMBF News.